Hey, hello! I'm an Onion, and I'm going to show you guys how to add free live translation subtitles to your stream. First, uh, let's head to Satan Peon's Twitch page. I think that's how you pronounce her name. It's either Satan Peon or S Satan Peon. Well, anyway, anyway, um, this is the you are this is the URL. Um, I'll link it in the description so you guys can just click on it. So anyway, uh, head over to her page and click on follow first, of course, because this is made by her husband. So click on follow. After you've done that, uh, click on about and scroll toward the bottom where you see a mention of the translation. Okay, head to point number two, the real-time speech recognition translation. Click on the link and then translate the page to English or your language, right? And then on the left-hand side, you'll see a bunch of links. You want to click on the third link, which is voice recognition subtitles. Click on that, translate it back to English again or to your language again. Scroll toward the bottom until you see where it says how to use when using translation. It's going to give you a link to another page. Click on that link. All right, so this is pretty simple. The first step is to go to script.google.com and create a new project. Name your project something like Twitch translation or something or Twitch translation, you know, whatever you want. Uh, copy all the code here, delete it, and then go back to the page. Scroll all the way down a little bit where it gives you the code. Uh, what you actually want to do is click on the GitHub link. Click on the code.js link and copy that code. Go back to your Google project. Paste the code that you just copied. Right, Save it. And then on the top right, click on Deploy, New Deployment, select the cogwheel, and then click on Web App. Give it a name. Uh, sorry, give it a new description, subtitles or something, subtitles or something, whatever you want. All right? And then for who has access, make sure you click on the drop down and select anyone. Once that's done, click on Deploy. All right, this takes a little bit maybe. All right, so give it some time. All right, uh, so once it's deployed, you'll be shown this little menu with this little screen. And what you want is this code, All right? So don't copy yet. What you want to do is go back to uh, Satan Peon's web page or her husband's web page. Scroll to the bottom and you are going to want to copy this URL. I'm sorry, not this one. Uh, copy the URL on the bottom here. Copy it. All right. Paste it into your URL bar. Remove the X's. And it's in its place, what you want is the code that Google just gave you. Copy this, add it at the end of the URL. Click enter, and then you should be shown this screen or this page, right? Uh, so you notice that there's no translation yet and it's in Japanese, but keep talking and eventually it will work. Uh, so let's give it a minute. Keep saying something, three, two, one, three, two, one, three, two, one. Hello, can you hear me? Hello, is this working? Hello, um, can you hear me? Hello, there we go. All right, so it takes a little bit. Um, so if you are not translating from Japanese to English, you will need to change the URL. Um, so I'll show you very quickly how to do it. So in the URL, you see this line, or you see this text, RedCog. 
equals and then JA, right? So JA stands for ja um, Japanese. So for example, if you want to change it to English as your original language, change it to EN. And then after that, uh, you see EN as the translate language, but let's say you want to translate it to Spanish, right? You'll change it to ES. Click enter, and then say a few things, say a few things, say a few things, say a few things. Motherfucker. No. All right. Yeah. So if we did it correctly, we'll change to the original language and the translated language of your choice. Yeah, um, so you need to make sure that you enunciate properly. If you mumble, it's going to catch your mumbling and may not translate correctly or may not recognize your speech properly. So enunciate. Yeah, so I was mumbling, so it's showing mumbled speech. No, speech. Not beach, speech. Not peach, mother effer. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, so just remember, uh, remember to enunciate. No, not enunciate. Yeah, well, you get the point. Okay, all right, so you can play around with it. Uh, for the rest of the settings, you'll want to go back to uh, Satan San's page and in step two he shows you um, the settings and how to change them so yeah just so to actually use this what you need to do is create a source in your OBS all right so go to create a new source select window capture and settle it subtitles. Make sure that you have the correct browser selected. Click OK. Next, uh, what you need to do is right click it, go to transform, fit to screen, right click it again, and then go to edit transform. And now you're gonna have to crop the top. Uh, so this all depends on your, your screen. Uh, for me, it's going to be about 250 for the top. Yep, that's about right. And for the bottom, I'll crop 500. Uh, you don't need to crop the left or right. Okay, so now we need to remove the background color. So you see here, the background is green. But you don't want that. You want this to be clear. So this is how you do it. Right-click your subtitles. Go to Filters. Add a chroma key, and the key color type has to match the background color for your subtitles. So for me, it was green, so I have it selected as green. Now you don't see the green anymore up here, you see only the text. So if you want to, let's play around with the settings until it's right for you. Once you're done, click on close, and let's see how it works. There we go. <laughs> there we go. So now it's transparent, so you can move it around however you like, and it won't get in the way of whatever you're broadcasting. See? Me, Cool, huh? All right, so I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, remember to subscribe, leave a like, and leave a comment. If you have any questions, also leave a comment. All right, so have a nice day, everyone. Bye.